Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome our newest baby, the Mercedes AMG GTR. Thank you very much that you joined us here for the world premiere of our youngest and most performance member of the GT family. Hey, Lewis, what are you doing here, man? How you doing? Hey. You good? Yeah, I'm doing good. And you? Doing yeah. well, right? Can I take you for a quick ride? Okay, do so. You brought you brought the car back yeah. in one piece, the beast. Uh, I'll take it. You take it? Yeah, it's amazing. Is this really street legal? It's street legal, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. I would like to invite everybody to join us here and have a close look to the car. Thank you very much once again to join us here for the world premiere of the GTR. And Luis, thank you very much on behalf of the whole team that you join us here. Thank you. It is a beast. I don't know if you could hear what I could hear, but from in the car, it's so loud. That's why I was like, is it really street legal? Because normally that kind of noise is not for the road. Um, definitely got upset, upset some neighbors when you're driving past, but it really feels amazing. It's obviously got quite a stiff chassis. It's got more power than the original. Um, it's very stiff, so it's got great grip. Um, yeah, it really is probably one of the, probably the best car that AMG have done. So. Racing street legal. Yeah. A lot of performance features in that car, active aerodynamics. Rear axle steering is not necessarily closely linked to racing, but it helps you on the racetrack and it's unbelievable how you can increase driving dynamics by, by that feature. And then for race car enthusiasts, a very special offer. We, if you switch ESP off, we have a traction control mode. We call it traction action. Yeah? So we have nine level of traction control you can adjust it just by a button. It's so, it's so cool because it's strictly linked to the GT3 race car. Gut, er hat ja viele innovative Dinge für uns drin. Ja. Zum ersten Mal für Mercedes AMG, aber auch für Mercedes an sich als, als, als gesamte Company haben wir Hinterachslenkung eingeführt. Und es ist unglaublich, was man damit bewegen kann im Auto. Uh, wir haben viel am Leichtbau gearbeitet. Wir haben jedes Detail in dem Auto nochmal unter, unter Performance Aspekten uns angeschaut und verbessert. Um, wir haben aktive Elemente für die Aerodynamik in dem Auto an der Vorderachse. Wir haben unsere Unterbodenpaneele, die sich bewegt. Ja, wir haben eine Kühlerschalousie drin. Wir haben viel gemacht, um aerodynamisch die, die Performance auf der Rennstrecke zu unterbauen. Und dann haben wir, was ich super cool finde und jeden Rennsportenthusiasten begeistert, um, bei ESP aus haben wir eine Traktionskontrolle. Ja. Und das ist ja das, was du brauchst, ja, wenn du jetzt auf nass oder halb nass oder Mischbedingungen fährst. 
dann findest du das cool, weil du hast eine Traktionskontrolle und du kannst genau die Traktion einstellen, die du absetzen kannst. Und das ist super easy zu fahren dann. We did a lot of things to, to reduce the weight in the car. We do have a carbon fiber torque tube now. Uh, we worked on a lot of details. We do have the aerodynamics at the front. Uh, we do have the rear axis steering and everything is strictly linked to increased performance on a racetrack. Ein Rennsport-Enthusiast hat ja sicherlich in Bezug zum sportlichen Auto. Ne? Und es gibt ja viele Leute, die in diesem Segment Autos kaufen und dann Track Days genießen. Und ja, ich glaube, wir hatten bisher auch noch kein Angebot ja, in dem Segment. Im SLS haben wir was gemacht mit Black Series. Der GT, GTS ist ein cooles Auto für solche Aktionen. Aber ich glaube, der toppt alles nochmal um, um, um einiges. Er ja. hat wirklich eine extrem ausgeprägte Fahrdynamik und macht so viel Spaß auf der Rennstrecke. Ähm, ja, es, man muss begeistert sein für so ein Auto, aber es ist wirklich wert. Um, well, I like, I kind of like a wide bodied car, so I like that they put a, a wider body on it, it's a bit lower, it's got a nice big wing on the back, they've improved aerodynamics, which I mean, most people don't really notice aerodynamics on the road cars, but when you're around the track, you can actually use this, you can feel it. But it's the power and it's the sound. The sound is everything. You know, when you start up a car and you, you hear, you hear the, the growl of a car, is yeah, that's what it's all about.